Hi everyone, today I have a super exciting video for you guys. This is something that, okay, maybe I should just start off by saying that this is a collab video and the person that I am collabing with today is the beautiful Laura over by Gold Star Work. I've been watching her for a very long time. We've talked a lot and I just think that she is such a cool person. So she's the kind of person that I would want to be my mom. <laughs> she's a little bit older, so like, please don't take offense to that, but I just think that she is so cool. She's very into art. She's very artistic. She loves to play around with makeup just the way that I do. She likes to try out new techniques. Her channel is so much fun and she also does some roulette videos that I used to do a little while back. I've kind of uh, gotten out of the habit of actually putting everything into my wheels so my wheels are not accurate to my collection right now which is why I have not been doing any of those so I might bring those back at some point. I might not. I just don't know if I'll be able to ever get all of my collection into my wheels again after decluttering and after buying some new stuff and things have just kind of gotten thrown around. So I'm gonna have to think about that and see if I actually do want to continue with that. I do still have like my singles and my eyeshadow palettes and all that stuff in there. So it should be fine still to do certain kinds of videos, but that was a tangent if there's ever been one. I am so sorry. So today for what we are doing is that we are going to be doing half our face cool tone and half our face warm tone. I have already done my brows because I didn't want my brows to be different colors. I don't know. I just feel like most people have brows that are one color, you know? I don't know. It just made sense to me. So I just did my brows in a color that's kind of more on the neutral side, not leaning warm or cold. So I think that should be fine. So I think I kind of want to start with eyes today and then we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the face afterwards. So I have pulled out a palette that I have not actually used on my channel that much. And I think today I want to use the Cardi All Matte palette. I have had some of you ask if I could use this and I figured this would be the perfect palette because it has some very warm tones down here as well as some very cool tones with the blues. So those are the ones that I'll be using and I'm also going to use my Colourpop Make Up Your Mind palette and I'm going to use the gold and the silver in this. And then I think for my bronzers and blushes and stuff, I haven't quite figured out what I want to use yet. So I will kind of pull those out as we go. So I'm first just going to start by priming my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot. And I think the person that I saw do this first was uh, Jay Kissa. She did a video like this about a year ago. And ever since that, I've kind of wanted to try it just because I feel like it would be really interesting and it would be a good way to kind of see what really enhances your skin tone and your eyes and what makes your features really pop. Because I think it's really interesting how some people just feel like they look better in warm tones and some people prefer cool tones. I am definitely in the I prefer cool tones on myself because I feel like it just makes my eyes pop more than warm tones. Maybe because I have brown eyes, I don't really know. But I do feel like every color looks, you know, pretty good on me. I don't feel like I really have any restrictions in that. I have green eyes and I feel like green is going to look weird if it's too much green and whatnot. But I honestly feel like it doesn't really matter what your eye color is. You should just wear whatever eye makeup you are comfortable wearing that you feel like wearing that day. Like if I had a different colored eyes, I would still be wearing the exact same makeup that I'm wearing now. I just, I really wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> All right, so I think for, which eye should I do what color? Let's do the warm tones on this eye and then the cool tones on this eye. So I'm first gonna start off by taking, well, this is like upside down. How am I supposed to read this? Oh, NSFW, is that like something I'm supposed to know what it means? Anyway, this is the red shade in the Carity palette. So I'm gonna take that and put that into my crease on this side. And it's been a long time since I used this palette last and I do remember really liking it. Wow, okay, so <laughs> hello pigment. So actually the last time I used this, I'm pretty sure I used to still set my eyeshadow primer, which I obviously stopped doing a long time ago. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this turns out. I do feel like this is pulling a little bit pink though compared to red, but it's still a really, really nice color. So maybe I will go over with just a little bit of a brown to darken up the outer corners with to make this a little bit warmer after. And I don't think I want to make this a super complicated look by any means. I'm honestly more interested in like the end result of this and I think that the face products are going to really be what makes this look a lot different. So I'm not going to fuss too much making this like a super complicated look. So I'm just going to do a very basic you know, eyeshadow technique. I'm just going to do crease color and then I'm gonna do transition shade and then I'll do a pop on the lid. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So as you can see, I'm pulling this down to my lower lash line as well. So just as with Jessica that I collabed with two days ago, Laura is also using a lot of different kind of brands that I've never heard of. Obviously she lives in New Zealand, so that's why. But I always find it really interesting to find people that don't use the same kind of brands that I do because it's always fun to like hear about new brands and see what kind of makeup they have in 
different countries and different parts of the world and that's one of the reasons why I love her channel so much because I get to see all these brands that I have like never seen around me or never even heard of so I just think that is so interesting. So for my other eye I'm gonna first dip into... which one do I want to do? I'm gonna do Enchant. I always struggle with that word. Is it Enchant or Enchant? Is that just like a accent thing? I don't know. But I'm gonna dip into Enchant and I'm basically going to do the same thing that I did on the other eye just with the blue. So I do feel like this eye is looking a little bit more on the cool tone side than I would have liked for it to. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with an orange now and hopefully see if I can warm this up a little bit. So I'm going to take <laughs> Vegas, how appropriate. So I'm going to go in with this and I'm going to be running that in my crease, like half on where I already have shadow and half on top. And I'm just going to use this to blend out that first shadow that I put down as well as just bring back a little bit of warmth. And I think this is going to really help the look. And I'm also taking this underneath my eye. And I think I am also going to dip into just a little bit of Huntress, which is this kind of warm tone uh, dark brown on here. I think this is warm tone. Uh, Probably could have been more warm than that, but I think I'm just going to use that to deepen this up a little bit because I need something a little bit extra in the outer corner here. So I'm still just using the same brush and I'm just going to pack that in the outer corner. Kind of just uh, hiding that pink that was coming through a little bit. Also just gently pulling this through my crease. And I mean these shadows are performing so well. And I kind of feel bad now for not having used this palette more. And if you are looking for a good rainbow palette, I guess here you go. We have a good matte rainbow palette. Okay, so this is starting to look a lot more warm tone and like what I was going for. So that's always good. So I think I'm going to take just a little bit of the yellow in this palette as well. And this one is called Tweety, and I'm just going to run that right above everything. Alright, so that is definitely looking like a warm tone eye now. So next I'm going to go back into the blue side, and I'm going to dip into Fane which is this very kind of pastel -y blue, and I'm going to use that to blend out what I have on this side already put down. And this palette has no kick up at all, so I'm almost surprised that there is as much pigmentation as there is. So I'm just going to take this and run that over the blue that I already put down. And just to get the same amount of depth on both eyes, I'm going to go in with Phantom, which is this very, very dark kind of tealy blue. And I'm just going to do what I did with the brown on the other side. I'm going to first put a little bit of this in the outer corners. And then I'm also going to pull it through my crease just a tiny bit. And I'm taking a bit more of that first blue as well and just putting that right in between these two blues. And I think this is going to be the matte part of the shadows done. I'm next going to go into my Colourpop palette and on this side right here I'm going to go in with the gold. Or maybe I should do this shade. I don't feel like this is really light enough. <coughs> Whoa, I just almost poked my eye there. Um, which one do I want to use? Ooh, I do really like that gold though. I mean, just look how intense that gold and that silver is. So I'm going to use both of these because I just, I need to, I just love them. So I'm starting with the gold shade and I am just going to pop that on my lid here using a brush that is way too big, but it was the only one that I saw that was clean. So not doing a cut crease or anything. I'm basically just putting on the shadow. And when I get about halfway, I'm just Trying to fade this into the mats that I have on the outer corner. 
So if y'all have been wanting to see me do a warm neutral eye, here you go. It might not be super neutral, but for me, this is pretty neutral. And I usually don't do like fully warm tone eye looks. Not that I have anything against them, I just feel like they're a little bit overdone and a little bit boring. Don't shoot me, but it's just how I feel. So on the other side, I'm gonna go in with the silver now. I'm just wiping off my brush so I can use the same one. And I'm gonna do exactly what I did on the gold side, but just with the silver. And just to finish up, I'm gonna go in with the outer corner shade on both eyes and just make sure that the blends are looking nice. So for the two eyeliners that I want to use on this side, I'm going to use Punch by Colourpop. In this one, I'm going to use Electric, I think this is called, by LA Girl. And I'm just going to finish up the rest of my eyes before we move on to the face, so I will be right back. Okay, so the eyes are all done. I think this is looking so cool. Like, I would totally walk out like this, but just with, you know, the rest of my face normal and not half and half cool tone, warm tone. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in with some bronzer. I don't think I'm going to be doing any contouring because contouring is usually cool tone and you can't really contour with something that is warm, in my opinion. So I think for my warm tone side right here, I'm going to use my Natasha Denona mini bronzing glow. You guys have seen me use this a lot lately, but this is definitely the most warm tone bronzer that I think I have in my collection. So let's put some on on this side. Oh, I just, I love this bronzer so much. It is so pretty. It's so easy to work with. It's so smooth. The only thing that sucks is that the pan size is so small that I feel like I'm probably gonna hit pan in like a week. And then I'm gonna be really upset because I'm gonna have to buy a new one. And I don't think they sell this in a full size, which I would absolutely buy this in a full size because I think this is so pretty, especially in the summer. I feel like this is like the most perfect bronzer for me right now. And I can use this as a bronzer and a blush. I know I was so confused in the beginning when I read the description on this and it was like a bronzer and a blush shade and I was just like... What? But then you can actually use this just like as a bronzer and a blush, like two in one, and it just looks beautiful. So now that I have this on, on this side, I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Hula bronzer on the other side, because this is very much a cool tone bronzer, and I think this is going to look really nice. And this is also one of my favorite bronzers right now. I absolutely love this. I feel like this might be a little bit too dark for me in the winter, but right now I think this is beautiful. I feel like there's not that much of a difference, but I can definitely see this side being a lot more warm than this. But it's not like super noticeable. I'm not sure how well you can really see it on camera, but in real life, I can definitely tell. So for blush, I'm definitely going to use my one of my favorite blushes on this side, and this is the one that I used in my last video as well. This is by Physicians Formula. It's called Ro It's called Rosy Pink. And we're just gonna put that on. What accent was that? That was weird. And I love that some of you guys have commented on the video that I put up today that you like the way I do my blush and that I put on just the right amount of blush and still have it look like I have blush on, which I'm like, why would you put on blush if you're not going to see it, you know? So I definitely love my blush. I could not live without it. It's one of my favorite steps in my routine. So for my warm tone side, I actually realize I don't have a lot of warm tone blushes, which I feel like everybody only has warm tone blushes except for me because I have like all the baby pink ones. So I'm going to use my uh, Morphe Trio. This is in the shade Pop of Coral. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is called Boss. And this is really just like a peachy kind of shade. I'm not sure how well you can really see it, but it's definitely one of the most warm tone blushes that I think I have in my collection. And I really do like the shade of this a lot. And I know I keep raving about the Morphe blush formula, but I just think it's so good. It's so, it's like pigmented without being too pigmented and it's nice and buildable. And it really does last all day on me. So I am a huge fan of Morphe's blushes. If I haven't already said that like 152 times, but I'm a huge fan of Morphe's blush formula, okay? <laughs> and you can use my code, uh, just kidding, I wish. Okay, so maybe that was a little bit too much blush. Probably not, but I'm gonna build up the other side just a little bit to make them even. All right, so for my blush, uh, blush. For my highlight, I'm gonna use my Dior highlighting palette. And I think for this side, 
I'm going to be mixing the pink with the white. And for this side, I'm going to use the gold by itself. And I love how the white is like next to the pink and the gold because when I use these two, I literally just go like this and I mix them and then I just put it on. so beautiful and then let's do the gold on this side again this also is so beautiful i just i love the formula on this highlighting palette i think it's so it's just easy to use like you can't overdo it it's really hard to overdo it like i can go in and build and build and build and build and it still doesn't look like it's too much and i really appreciate formulas like that and it's also like pigmented enough that you can go in just once if you wanted to so i how do I highlight my nose? <laughs> <laughs> what do I use? That's, um, I guess I'll do a little bit of the pink, just like on this side. <laughs> wow, this is gonna look so weird. Wow, that's a lot. And then I'm gonna do the gold. <laughs> Alright, I think that'll do. So, uh, let's see, what do I want to do with the lips? I feel like I need to just go with a pink and a red because you know, I just gotta go with the theme, so let me find some lipsticks real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, so I think the ones that I'm gonna do is gonna be both from Jeffree Star and I'm gonna use doll parts on this side because this is like the epitome of a very cool toned pink lipstick without being like Barbie pink. And then on this side I'm just gonna do, I think this is Red Rum. So let me try to put these on and make them look okay together, I don't know how that is going to go, but I will be back as soon as I put on some lipstick. All right, so I think this looks so cool. Um, honestly, that lip combo is kind of everything. <laughs> so here is my cool tone side. And here is my warm tone side. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. I think this came out so cool. So I don't even know which side I feel the most me in. Because I feel like I would wear both of these, you know, obviously this one is a little bit more on the classy side and more just more accepted, more normal, I suppose, more neutral, even though it's not really neutral, but you know what I'm getting at. So yeah, I think, I don't know, I just think this looks really cool and I can't wait to see Laura's because this was, this is something that I've been wanting to do for so long and I don't know why I haven't done it, probably because I know I have to wash my makeup off after, but you know what, it's fun. Makeup's supposed to be fun, you're supposed to experiment and just try new things and I feel like this is a good way to kind of see where or what kind of makeup that you look best in or that you feel more comfortable in. So for me, I mean, I feel like I could go either way. I don't really hate any of these sides. I think they both came out looking really cool. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much to Laura for wanting to collab with me. This was so much fun and you guys need to definitely go check out her channel. I think you are going to really love it. So. Go ahead, check her out, tell her that I sent you as always because you guys are the best subscribers ever and you always go check out the people that I collab with. And I'm so thankful for that because I really want to help people grow the way that people helped me grow when I first started out. And I think it's awesome to have the opportunity now that I can help people out that are smaller than myself. And I just think that is great about this community. So thank you so much to everybody for watching as always. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.